So this is what I'm eating day three for lunch. I took my Serapeptis at 9 a.m. this morning. And um, I took my black seed oil at 11 before I walked out the door for work. It is now going on 12.30. I was going to eat at 1, but I'm like starving, you guys. So the last thing I ate was 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock last night when I ate the pizza from Blaze. And yeah, so far so good. Um, cycle still doing a little bit weird, but for the most part, it's okay. It's not super heavy or anything like that. It was only heavy for like one day. I should be going off by Friday, Saturday morning. It is Wednesday today. So. So far, so good. And with the slippery elm and the tea so far, it's just making everything regular instead of um, me going every like three days or late at night. I'm like able to go in the morning like a normal person. Hallelujah for that. So nothing crazy like a laxative where I'm be like commanded to the toilet all day or something. So that's always a plus I did not do the peach tea last night um I'm probably going to do that today when I get home in my regimen and I'll see you guys when I get there so I can um cook dinner or whatnot with you guys and let you know what I'm eating for dinner um and I'm so hungry I really wanted a peanut butter and jelly you guys I was gonna cut up the banana and do a real fancy peanut butter and jelly sandwich but my mom didn't have no peanut butter so i had to settle for these peanut butter and chocolate chip fiber bars and just eat the banana with it like that because i really don't need to eat no bread anyways i think that was just god telling me i didn't need to eat no bread guys <laughs> so but yeah i'll um, check back in guys with you guys later let you know what i'm eating for dinner Alright, ciao. Hey y'all, so I done caved in and got some Cheetos. And the sad part is, I ain't even really want them like that. Like, they started tasting nasty. I don't need a couple of them. I think it's my body rejecting it. And I try to get the more healthier kind. And it still ain't work. So, it's like about 4 o'clock. I'm still trying to figure out what I want for dinner. And somewhere my mom gonna call me back. I'm like, it was two jars of peanut butter in the basement. And I'm like, so you just hide and stuff, lady. But I'm about to just take me a break. Chill out. It's got fork next one, so. So chill. Yeah. I had to come to y'all because I just don't understand. Them Cheetos <laughs> made my stomach hurt. So. It's nice, but, like, my stomach is cramping so bad and, like it made my cycle like spike or something I don't know but like this shit <laughs> like wanna cry or, like and I just recorded a different video about it and, like that one it was 444 when I recorded it so that was letting me know something like yeah because right when i said like i need to not eat that no more and pull the screen down it was like yeah so yeah i'm real big on numbers y'all gonna figure that out further watching me and everything but i just had to come to y'all like the die or something and it's not right so no more cheetos for you girl as much as i was craving them but these lip jaws is like I kind of just want some salad today. This is zucchini. I love zucchini. There's a lot of traffic and stuff, so y'all keep seeing this one because I'm in a busy area and there's a lot of people over here, so I'm not going to. Yeah, that's what I They probably do a vinaigrette. Like, I'm scared to eat ranch, and I love ranch. Even last night when I was eating my pizza from Blaze, like, I ate six out of the eight pieces because it started tasting nasty to me. Like, I don't know. So I'm about to, 
I don't know what it was, but it was like when it had a little bit of cheese on it, I didn't like. So I don't know. Make a homemade vinaigrette, homemade salad. I'm scared to even eat eggs, y'all. I love eggs too, y'all know I love an egg sandwich. I put some breakfast food up. If you're on my IG or anything, you know I love breakfast food. I'm always eating brunch because I don't eat breakfast service anymore. I'm like, I'm super duper duper duper. But yeah, I guess I just come back to y'all. Uh, dinner time, I still ain't going to the grocery store. I'm still out hanging out because it's like so nice. And it's like if I go home, I'm gonna be stuck in my house, cleaning up, I'm doing a whole bunch of shit, editing, all that. So I'll be trying to find a balance. So it's still day three. Dinner, tea, oh, which I need to take some tea because coming up around that time, I should be taking it. I could have went and took it had I known I was going to clean it. Oh, and we're gonna do the yogi tea tonight. So I'm excited about that. I'm just scared how it's gonna affect me. So I took Lexus pills before I ate my stomach hurt. So I don't know how extra tea works if it makes your stomach hurt. Okay. We're gonna see about that. Oh, yeah, I didn't have my okie doke today. I haven't had no reactions like to anything or felt sick or. You know, like everything's been pretty much good for the most part. Um, I have been indulging and still smoking a little bit of cigarettes, which I'm like, if I'm going to be taking these supplements, I really need to stop doing that. Because all it is is like free placing with biscuits without my body and that's just dumb. Especially with me already still using certain type of soaps and things to fill up my body. And I might do a bench tonight in my own. Um, Castor oil pack today. The other night when I did, I didn't do the this night clay part, so I might do this night clay tonight because my stomach is cramping real bad. So it helps push some more of them toxins out and um, wipe that off. And then do a castor oil pack, drink my tea and stuff, so everything is, you know, circulated and can penetrate through everything how it needs to. So I'll get back to you in an hour or so, alright? Ciao. This shit's not expensive. You see how much all this stuff costs? Oh yeah, so I finally went grocery shopping. I'm about freaking time right now. And I cleaned out my refrigerator, everything looked a mess because I washed all my drawers and everything. I was good, so wash the dishes. So always make sure you that throw out all the old and stuff. So all of this, seventy-seven dollars, you guys. I guess I didn't get no meat. And no bread. Ain't y'all proud of me? I do good. <laughs> so, have baby mushrooms, bananas, yogurt, vanilla yogurt, some sunflower seeds. 
butter, almond milk. I already have the vanilla in the refrigerator. Got some of this. Orange juice, love orange juice. Some seasoning. All purpose seasoning. I love these little juices. These are so good. Like in your smoothies or just on the go, just to drink. So bomb. They're only like 40, 40 cents at all these. So I was like, heck shit. Coconut water. I never really tried it before, but I wanted to try it. So that one is about 89 cents. Oh, shit. So I know. Some more lemons. Yellow onions. Peeled garlic. White potatoes. Um, I wanted to try these little cookie things. I'll be so hungry at work and I'm snacks to eat. So, see how this goes. Probably do like a little taste thing later on. Tell y'all how it goes. I don't know. It's not open today. Then I got some figs. I remember like my uncle used to give us these and put them little. I don't remember what they taste like. So, <laughs> I just got them just to try it. Blueberries, I like blueberries. I think that's it for this box. I also got some watermelon. Cut up my face. That's gonna be so fun too. This box we have mini peppers. Probably do breakfast and stuff like that, or like a pasta. Celery, hopefully this time I'll eat it. Every time I buy it, I will never eat it. I'll probably eat like one stock and then I don't eat no more. But I'm about to try to, to eat this whole thing. I'm so proud of myself if I do. Because this drug will be real. We also have some spinach. Add strawberries because they were two for four. Whole carrots. Those are really cheap too. Zucchini, love, love zucchini. Squash. This aloe vera drink, y'all, is so bomb. I think I put it on my Instagram page at one point. Yeah. If I could buy this in a big gallon jug or liters, like, I would. It's, like, that good. But you have to drink it within a certain amount of time because it is aloe vera in here. So, that's the only thing about that. Um, and I wanted to try this raspberry vinegar right since I'm be eating a lot of salad and stuff. They used to sell it at this one restaurant um, here in Lansing, but they don't sell it there anymore. I used to get my salad from. So hopefully this is equivalent to it. I can add to it and it tastes good if it's not. Um, let's see. I got some more type of noodles so I can do dinners real quick. I normally just pour this into a cup and do like single servings. So the box, I get like four servings at the bottom. Or if I'm cooking a big meal, I do half and half. So, it's always good to get these. They're only like a nine so. Breakfast on the go. Got some of these. I have a whole bunch of oatmeal, so I'm gonna try to do like some of my own granola and stuff with the oatmeal. I've seen some recipes for that, and I'll probably do a tutorial on that as well. I feel to fill together. <laughs> I'm just playing. It can't turn out so bad. It's just some oats. Um. It's a cabbage, so I can do like a soup with this or whatnot, or um, some type of wraps. And I also got some romaine lettuce too. I'm gonna try some. Sorry, you guys, my memory on my phone probably again because I just uploaded that get ready with me. But I got some asparagus, so I wanted to try some asparagus. Heard it was really good for you, so my love is there. cucumbers. Pickles, bread and butter, my face, and also green onion, my other face. So once I get the refrigerator all set together, I'll come back and show you guys how I rearrange everything and get dinner started. Oh, and a case of water, so I love, love my water. So I gotta get some water. So yeah. Okay, so I'm all done, you guys. Let's have fun. Bagels. Regular bread. Some more bagels. I love bagels. That's why I didn't buy any more bread. 
Got some butter, extra butter is over there. Got some cheese laying in the back. Cream cheese, Swiss cheese. Some macadamia nut cookies, organic butter. Uh, have some biscuits, cinnamon rolls. Um, both of the almond milk, squirt, some tea. Some 365 lemonade, some whole foods. Have a beer, drink orange juice. Big drink of water. I have spinach, my lettuce, okra. Um, onion, celery, my asparagus, flash and zucchini, more tea, yogurt, mango drink, apple juice, um, pickle, strawberry, just some cans of fruit, some pineapples, and a um, fruit cocktail, applesauce, watermelon, onions, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, cabbage, peppers, um, mini. Cucumbers, mushrooms, carrots, peeled garlic, oranges, lemons, a little snack, sunflower seeds, blueberries, fig. Um, I still have some more of my dried cranberries and almonds that I've been taking to work. So that's what's in here. That's a the snack. Um, there goes bottled water. I have my mason jars prepped for my lemon water. I'm gonna make with the spring water right here. These have baking soda, relish, lemon and lime juice. We got some strawberry jelly spread, mayonnaise, jerk sauce from Jamaica. Yes, from Jamaica, you guys. Parmesan cheese, we got some Indian steak sauce, there goes the extra bread on the mouth. I'm keeping these bacon bits around because they don't sell turkey bacon bits everywhere. And just in case if I do start craving meat or something, like I say, you gotta listen to your body, you guys. Um, we got some Dijon mustard, spicy brown, regular mustard. My um, hemp oil that I love so much. Yeah. Blue gray hydrogen peroxide. Um, we got a whole bunch of soy sauces, well, salmon vinegar red, some red wine, some vinegar, more soy sauces, soy sauces, soy sauce, some Worcestershire ketchup, sweet baby ray, sweet and spicy on the thighs. We got some of my organic shampoo that I made. Beats for my smoothie, red hot hot sauce, we got some ranch, um, we got some Caribbean jerk, um, mocha coffee, that raspberry vinaigrette just bought in coconut water. And this is my refrigerator, you guys. No meat. The only meat I have is the meat that I've been having. Um, here goes some bananas and snacks and stuff. Like some of this is going out. I got my sandy cookies, oatmeal cookies, six toys, salt and vinegar chips. I got my jalapenos. Here goes all that oatmeal. So tomorrow I was going to cook to make my own, um, what's it called? Nutrient bars, my noodles. I have another whole case of noodles in my other drawer. Some rice, my cheese seeds. Um, and my psyllium hus, got some normal noodles, rice crispy treat cereal. So yeah. I mean I didn't throw away everything that was bad, but hey, you get the point. And then my freezer. Got my um Baltimore mixed fruit, my cookies and stuff, and this is everything else that you guys have to see. Ice cream sandwiches. So, you know, we need to be healthy for the most part and you can go to the and hello popsicles so I'll pop school, so keep those around and that is my grocery shopping haul you guys um you wanna know what's in the cabinet like I said I have a whole bunch of organic noodles more noodles pasta so I break those down I have mashed potatoes that I'm probably not even gonna eat because I hate boxed mashed potatoes I just keep them in mind because I don't have their ones some cheese croutons, more hot sauce, um, spaghetti sauce, and we got other jewelry, you know, just some snacks, and miscellaneous stuff, and some more alfredo sauce, 
have some um, Jiffy Mix that I didn't have something for, so I didn't need any snacks. Snacks that come in my grandma's thing that she can't eat, so I just take it. For on the go snacks, some fruit roll ups, some mambo, something in here, some popcorn, or some red and bucket, some jello, and some kidneys, some hot cocoa, more oatmeal. That's why I was not buying no more chicken. Um, carrots, mint and oranges, green beans, corn. I keep cream of celery, cream of mushroom, hella tuna, love tuna, some tomato paste, more carrots. Um, I think my other one is mostly my beans and stuff. I got more fruit, mixed vegetables, and then I got my, um, what are these? Northern beans, and I should have some, yep, my garden beans open. So I keep a couple cans of those around at all times. That's pretty much it. I have some baked beans, and I'm probably not even going to eat them because I barely eat those. More pineapple, more pineapple. Hey y'all, so I'm getting ready for dinner tonight. I'm going to go ahead and saute some zucchini, okra, a yellow onion, um, green onion, and some mushrooms down and some butter. I'm tossing in with these noodles and some cream of celery, make a pasta. I'm going to just go ahead and heat and grill some of these up with some seasoning on the side. And I'm also going to um, do some honey sweet potatoes. Add a little... Um, orange juice in there to make it a little sweet and just a little bit of honey nothing crazy a little cinnamon a little nutmeg and that's going to be my dinner for tonight pasta with beans and sweet potatoes i already have my water over here boiling for that here goes my skillet i also have my stuff out for my tea for tonight my dose of black seed oil i am going to do this tonight i probably won't end up doing it until about 12 o'clock tonight doing being that I'm not eating until um, about 9 or a little after. Because it shouldn't take this long for this meal to cook. About 15-20 minutes tops. Make sure you rinse and wash off all your um, vegetables and your fruits. I also went ahead and prepped that lemon water. And I tossed it in the freezer. And I'm going to go ahead and um, prep a smoothie for in the morning. And leave it in my Nutribullet. And in the freezer overnight. So that way when I... Um, get up tomorrow I can just eat it like an ice cream or a sherbet it's no big deal for me to eat it like that so we'll go ahead and prep that tonight and I'll show you the meal once it's done you guys so you want to cook it down so you see that it still has some slimy stuff in there but not too sauteed to where it's not slimy at all and it's all gone and then you turn off the heat our noodles are about done I'm about to take these out and strain them and then um, as I'm doing this, I'm also prepping for my salad tomorrow. This is just some zucchini and onion. I'm going to take some of this green onion and put the top back on. And that's just going to cook on its own. <clears throat> just a little bit of butter or whatever. Then we're going to um, get a bigger pot. Do half water, half of this. Add all of our seasoning. Let that boil down with the noodles and everything. And we have our meal. Then I just got to... Prepare my potatoes and cook my beans. Only two of my, I only use two of my eyes, so that's the reason why I'm cooking like this, you guys. And it's just me here, so I'm over here struggling. I'm hungry as hell, so yeah, just you know, still a little slimy. This is just zucchini, garlic, um, okra, mushroom. I'm about to season this with some um, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. I'm also going to try out that new seasoning that I just bought. I'm going to do some cayenne red pepper because I love cayenne red pepper. Put that in everything. Cumin seed. And some Creole seasoning. And I think that should taste good. And I'll probably do like a little bit of salt and pepper. 
Of course. So. What's we'll the without salt and pepper? Come on now. Yep, so I'm just going to add that in there, cook that down, and I'll come back in a minute. I'm also going to put some green onion in my salad as well. It's really good. And some of those beans, too. All right. So I just added that cream of mushroom to this and put some heat on to thicken it up. I think I might put a little bit too much water, but it's going to thicken up as it sits so, and cooks. Also, if you want your beans to be cooked at a good um, heat, make sure you cover with a top or they're still going to be a little bit hard. But it's just a little bit of um, Mrs. Dash, onion, garlic, pepper, and salt. Nothing major. I just put a little bit of onion and garlic pepper in this as well. And then we season that with a whole bunch of seasoning. So that's all good. And also make sure you add your butter in there. And everything should be all good. I'm debating if I want to do these potatoes or not. Like I'm so, 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 so hungry. And I still ain't filled them or nothing. I just added my green onion to my salad. I'm going to go ahead and put... The spinach in there, so I can use this better for my salad instead. And then when I store it, I'm gonna put a paper towel over it and then put my top on top in the morning. Um, that way, it doesn't get all nasty and everything. Just gonna bake the spinach. I can't wait for the pasta to be done, you guys. Or I might still cook these and just eat them tomorrow. That way they're done, but I'm going to eat first. And I'll still videotape it for you guys. I think that's a better idea. I'm probably going to be full off of this anyways. Um. So yeah, I'm just going to just eat the beans. And my pasta at this point because I'm starving. Alright, see you in a minute, ciao. Beans should be a golden brown like so. need to add butter while they're cooking and add more butter or water. I try not to overwater it while I'm cooking it at first because I hate when it's super watery because then they get mushy. And then my pasta. Yeah. And I think I'm about to just go ahead and eat this salad tonight, y'all. Like, I'm so starving. So I'm going to do a salad, this pasta, and some beans. Yes, and I think I might add a tad, a little bit of Kobe Jack cheese to this. Not nothing crazy, or some Parmesan on top in my bowl, not to the whole thing. Just in case if it does mess up my stomach, it's not corrupting my whole meal. So I'll be struggling trying to find something to eat. I'm about to look up some meal prep videos, lay down, get ready for work. This eye is still hot. Uh, I'm not going to eat any bread. I'm just going to drink my lemon water. And call this tonight, you guys. And I'm still going to drink my tea. The time is currently 10. So, yeah, like I said, around 12, I'll probably take that tea. That way my food is undigested a little bit. And I'm still going to, um, I'm adding this into this tea. That's why I'm not drinking this right now like I would normally would. And before I go to sleep, just take a, um, a bit of my black seed oil. And it's a wrap for night three, you guys. Pasta, beans, and salad. And in my salad, I put a little bit of almonds, some dried cranberries, some sunflower seeds, onion, green onion, and zucchini. 
that's what's all in here. It's all covered up and stuff. And I'm gonna use that raspberry vinaigrette that I just bought today. So, yeah. With lemon water. Boom.